chat podcast, the weekly co- podcast of minnesotavikingschat.com featuring me, your host, David Erickson, and uh, with me today, Rick Birmingham from Minneapolis. Hey, Rick. Hello. And uh, Adrian Perryman is not with us uh, this week, so uh, it's a Rick and I solo, or duo, I guess. Uh, the NFL draft starts on April uh, 25 and goes, I think, three days this year. Um, so for the next few weeks, we'll be uh, discussing potential picks for the Vikings in their areas of need. And, of course, the Vikings' one area of need is uh, glaring need is receiver. And uh, so the Vikings have 11 picks, two in the first round. Uh, they have the flexibility to, uh, to make some deals. Derek Rodgers mm-hmm. out of Tennessee Tech, six two, 217 pounds, uh, 32 and three quarter inch arm length, nine and a half inch hands, 4.52 uh, 40 yard dash, and a 39.5 vertical jump. So there we got that big mm-hmm. receiver with a with a big radius too. So uh, what were your thoughts on uh, Day Rick? <laughs> well, same thoughts as everybody else. Can he stay out of trouble? He got kicked off the team um, before the season started, so that had to be bad. I don't know what it was, but it had to be bad. He got in a little trouble before that. Um, he's obviously, you know, physically just exactly what teams are looking for size-wise, you know, right in the middle. Um, yet they got rid of him, so it, it had to be terrible. Hopefully he learned something from that. I didn't go try and dig for those interview quotes where he says he's learned his lesson, so I don't know what, what that sounds like. Uh, he played with Justin Hunter for a while before he uh, moved <laughs> to uh, another level. His stats are wacky because he ended up in much not as high quality uh, league or team. Um, But he was very smooth. Um, Probably not the quickest guy, uh, but very smooth. Yeah, he's, uh, well, obviously from from the 6'2 frame, 217 pound big physical receiver, uh, but he plays with uh, knowing that he's a big physical receiver too, uh, not afraid to catch the ball in traffic uh, or in a crowd. He's uh, seems to have really good concentration with that. He'll take a hit and hold on to the ball. He'll break tackles. He t- he's tough to care- uh, take down by uh, by uh, uh, defensive backs in the open field. Uh, sometimes three three people will be needed to take him down. Uh, he uses his body well. Has strength to get separation, uh, and uh, and seems to be able to make the acrobatic catches too. So, with him, I mean, you know, he's he's gotten in trouble. We don't know exactly what it is, but um, bad enough to get him kicked off the team. The Vikings have been known to take a chance on uh, on uh, um, you know problem players, players with perceived problems. So I'm sure they'll do their due diligence. It's possible we could get a steal with this guy if he's a. Uh, if uh, the Vikings are confident, he's not going to create a problem in the, in the locker room, but seems to have a lot of the tools and athleticism to, to succeed. Yeah, I, I, he is probably as interesting to me as any of them of where he'll go. Like, you know, often the guys that were real athletic end up going much earlier than you think, but he doesn't have crazy speed. So a lot of those guys are speed. You know, is he somebody that drops far enough that you pick him up real late? You know, if we don't happen to get a couple of these other guys. Is he the one teams kind of keep in their pocket? They're like, oh, we can wait another round because if we get stuck, we'll take Rodgers and take a shot with that. I don't know. I'm very, very interesting. Um, you know, he will have less high-level experience. Um, and I would say if somebody is interested enough, go look at the clips from Tennessee more than Tech. Um to see a higher level of competition, and you can see Justin Hunter at the same time. Okay. Right, right, right. All right, so we're done with receivers. We were going to do middle linebackers uh, this week, but uh, not enough time, so we will do middle linebackers and perhaps uh, defensive tackles as well next week. Uh, so that's it for uh, this uh, week's what edition. about Winfield? Oh, that's right. Thank you for bringing that Stabbed up. Stabbed in the back. Yeah, Winfield signs a one-year deal with the Seattle Seahawks. So uh, he's not coming back, folks. We got a, we've got we got more depth concerns or starting concerns with the defensive backfield as well. So we'll be drafting there. Um, yeah, that's tough news. 
Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is it for this week. Uh, I'm David Erickson, host of the Minnesota Vikings Chat Podcast. Rick, uh, what's going on? What do you want to uh, do some shameless self-promotion? Uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we had a very good uh, Minnesota Food Share Month. Uh, we raised about uh, 97,000 pounds of food. So thank you Excellent. to everyone who helped out. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Uh, you can uh, follow Minnesota Vikings Chat at minnesotavikingschat.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash minnesotavikingschat, and on Twitter at mnvikingschat. Until next week, this is a wrap. Go Vikings! Go, Go Vikes. Vikes! Yes.